So what is up guys, this is a very exciting day. We've been tagged by the legend, the boss, the man with the sauce, CM Retro Gaming, Chris Miller. We're going to get this done. And this is, uh, the whole deal behind this is, is this is the games you grew up with and this is the games that you played and kind of made you, you know, the gamer you are now. So yeah, it's a pretty good, pretty good idea. I'm not really sure where it started, but Chris definitely tagged us, and we're really excited. This is the first time I think we've been tagged on the channel, so it's really interesting. And I just want to start off with saying that, actually, Chris, you're only one year older than I am. I was born in 1979, so I'm an old gamer, too. We're OGs, bro. Oh, yeah. OGs. But anyways, mine first started back... Actually, with nothing we had at the time, because we didn't have no video game consoles, but there was a friend of the family that had an Atari, and we got to play that quite a bit. Or not quite a bit, every now and then. I think that's how that went. I think it was a friend of the family. But anyways, the games I remember for the, from the Atari that we played, of course, Pac-Man. I don't know what Pac-Man is. Everybody knows what Pac-Man is. It's like all over the world, Pac-Man, 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 yeah. Pac-Man. And Frogger. And I'm terrible at this game. My girlfriend beats my ass when we play this. I'm just no good. I'm not a frog that crosses the road. <laughs> I get run over in the road on this game. Or I fall in the river, crossing the logs. Yeah. And then uh, Asteroids, of course. And actually with this here, I didn't. I don't think I played it on Atari. That was There was a laundromat in the town where we lived that had a uh arcade no it wasn't where we live it was a town over from where we live and we had to go all the way over there and do the laundry and all that stuff you know back then and that was a long time ago chris you know what i'm talking about so they had a copy of centipede and a copy of asteroids in there and we got to play that over there it was really cool and a copy or a, a copy i said a copy an arcade machine all right of miss pac-man and asteroids and centipede and maybe millipede in there or whatever. But that was the start of it. And then the first uh, actual console we had, my dad came in with it. It was really awesome. I wasn't expecting it. He came in with a, an NES. Uh, it was really amazing. And the, the game that he had with it, I got these in no particular order, but and some of these we didn't even have as kids. We, we went to the local video store and rented games. Mom... Dad take us down there, you know, rent us a game. It was really cool. It was like an awesome experience. You get off school on Friday. And we lived on a farm, so, we, you know, we worked on the farm. But we could go in and see all these games, and we could get to pick out a game that we wanted to play. But this one here actually came with the NES we had. And I talked about this in my last video. I picked this game up again. But Sky Shark. Really awesome game. I played the living crap out of this game. Also really hard. And I'll go ahead and tell you guys. I, I was all, all the way, I thought, to the last level. But it it loops. So, I'm not sure if you could even beat it. And I played all the way through till I just got bored. Because it was just flying through, shooting all this stuff over and over again. So, I don't think you can beat Sky Shark. But really good game nonetheless, and I played the living crap out of it. Me and my brother did was both really good at this game. Really cool game too, by the way. If you've never played it, it's got shot. But that was with the system, which was really awesome. And we'll just get into some of the stuff that my brother and I really did like. And then we'll start with Castlevania. I remember the first time I sat down and played this game and was playing through the first level and got to the bat. I thought that was Dracula. It's not Dracula. It's just a yeah, first level boss. But this game was really cool to me how you could play through the, the game. You could power up, pick up different items and whatnot, and find that food in the wall. So yeah, if you're hungry, <laughs> AVGN did a pretty cool thing. This where he's whipping the wall or whatever to try to get a pork chop out. <laughs> this is really funny. But you could extend the reach on the whip. You could have, you know, special powers and stuff. Castlevania is legendary. It's one of my favorite games of all time. Let me just make, I got stuff sitting everywhere, by the way. Make some room here. And then this one here, Castlevania, we actually had to rent. And uh, Mike Tyson's Punch Out, 
I think a buddy of mine, Chris Davis, let us borrow this one. It's still one of my favorite games to this day, and I still cannot beat. And I'm doing like I'm, uh, you know, you got to look past me sometimes. Who knows? But anyways, Mike Tyson's Punch Out, really good game. I liked how you had to, each one of the guys, you had to figure out how their special quirks or whatnot and figure out how to, how to try to beat them or whatever and get the stars and, you know, I, I always wanted to KO everybody, but it's hard to do. Excuse me. But Mike Tyson's Punch Out is one of my favorite NES games of all time. And like everybody, and I'm not doing no Mario stuff because, you know, that's a given. Or Zelda or none of that stuff. Metroid, another good one. I, I do not have a copy of Metroid or no Mega Mans. Have not found no Mega Mans, believe it or not. Bummer. But Contra. And my brother and I played this and went through it and beat it before we even knew about the code or whatever. We didn't have internet or stuff back, or stuff, things. Anything like that. We didn't have the internet back then. We actually beat this game. Legit, which was really cool, man. And Contra's a really good game. Nice side scroller. You could play as two players, and it didn't. You didn't like conflict with each other unless you were like going up, and the the screen was moving up. Then you could get get in some trouble. But Contra, yes, didn't have that one either. Rygar was another really cool game. It's really tough to beat this game, by the way, because you had to go to different places, find all this stuff. Go to the right places, have the right thing, like a, a grappling hook to get across spots or whatever. Really challenging game, Rygar. Really cool game, too, if you never played it. Then, Ghost and Goblins. Capcom game here. Really tough game, by the way. And you play all the way through this game, and then you just start over and play through it again. And those little red devils. Those little bastards. I hate those guys. <laughs> So Ghosts and Goblins. And then this one here, and it was in the other video, but Chris Davis let us borrow this one as well. Werewolf, The Last Warrior. If you guys ain't played this game, you damn sure need to give it a playthrough. Man, a really awesome slide, 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 blah, blah, blah. side scrolling action packed game. You're a werewolf, man. You got claws and stuff like that. You can climb on the ceilings, you can roll, you can do all this amazing stuff. But Werewolf for the NES set is still in the old noggin. And of course, Bionic Commando. Really awesome game, man. Bionic Commando. I just like, it's got cool music and it's got the grappling hook thing you can shoot out. It's, I don't know what any more to say about it. I've actually not beat this one either. But I might end up trying to do that. So I got a computer now, and I can probably start editing these videos, which is really awesome. So I'm not so rushed. So Bionic Commando. Then we got Double Dragon. My brother and I played the living crap out of this game. It was really cool when you could have a game where both you, both you guys could play at the same time. You weren't arguing over the controller or saying, is it my turn? Nah, just let me try again. Let me try again. You know how it was back then. Double Dragon, awesome beat em up must have as well and for the NES and a lot of stuff I'm not going to mention because it's not something that you know we had then or could play or rent at the video store because at the video store at that time you go in there looking for a specific game and I'll just talk about Vector man I always wanted to play that game and every time I went in there it was out never did get to play Vector man until what like a year ago when I picked it up so but now we'll just go off, and that was for the Nintendo, so you've seen some uh, Atari stuff, and I talked about the arcades at the laundromat. And But this is the first console we actually got like a, as a Christmas present, a brand new console, and it was a Sega Genesis, and the, it was amazing to get that. A brand new Sega Genesis, and I still have that console here, which is really awesome. And... For the Sega Genesis, these are the games that, that kind of, you know, we played the most. And that's what it, what this is about, right? We played this the most. Sonic. And I, we actually, I think we had the first one. 
we did not have this the second one we actually rented it at magic video that was a place in town and you could go down there and it was pretty cool man you could go down there and rent a console and uh, some games or whatnot they had the like, super nintendo the sega i think even at one time they had the uh panasonic thing and the 3do and stuff like that down there which was really neat but yeah sonic for the genesis awesome awesome titles blast processing the genesis and uh, i'll just give you an example of this and you guys can go research this for yourself go have a super nintendo and a sega and pop in a copy of mortal kombat 2 and do baraka's scissors and see what happens. The Super Nintendo version will go chuk, 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 and chug. The Genesis, no. They're flying fast. So check it out. Yeah, try that out. And Jurassic Park. I, I love this game. Me and my brother played this a bunch. It was really cool when we got to the, the stage with the raft and you're coming off down the, the little rapids there and coming through there. It's really cool. And the, you see the T Rex in the game. And when he, the, the title screen, he comes out and goes, Rega, which is really awesome. <laughs> really awesome. And you can see the T-Rex there on the back. Really cool stuff, man. Jurassic Park. And this is a legendary one. My mom will play this to this day, which is ridiculous. And she just keeps, she talks about it. Hey, take his head off. It's Earthworm Jim, yeah. Really awesome franchise. Earthworm Jim, man. It was just cool, the, the whole thing with that game was really neat, the way if you just walked away, he would, you know, pull a little worm out of his suit, go to jumping rope with it and all that stuff, and it, it was really visually stunning, the sound was really good on this game, and we spent a lot of time playing Earthworm Jim, and I, I still remember, like, the repelling scene where you're going down through there with the, what's the slime guy, booger monster, booger thing or whatever, and you gotta bounce him into the wall, it's really cool, really cool, just... If you've not played Earthworm Jim, you definitely need to play that. And I couldn't mention the Sega was that Mortal Kombat. Because it was better on Sega. I, some people think it wasn't, but it had the blood code, and this is what I grew up with. This was the one of the most legendary things I've ever seen on TV, believe it or not. It was Mortal Kombat. And uh, that's why it's, it's, it's just Mortal Kombat, man. And maybe some butthead. We played the crap out of this. We rented this so many times and never did beat this game because it's really kind of hard to play two-player because you get in the way of each other. You're jumping across stuff and you can't see each other. Well, you get in each other's way mostly, pretty much. But still, it was fun because I did really did love that show, Beavis and Butthead, and it was. We didn't even get to see it where I live, you know, till later. And there is a sports game in here, and there would have been another one. I'm not sure if it's for the Super Nintendo or this one, but Mutant League Football, that was a really fun game. By the way, I did, really did like that game. Armored-ass football players that just run over each other. And I think it was like you could like, tear them apart and stuff, which was crazy. But NBA Jam, we had a lot of fun with this game. I liked the visuals of it, jumping through the air with a flaming uh, basketball or one on, like, ice streaming off of it. It was really cool. Boom, shakalaka, awesome sports game but mutant league football was good as well and then weapon lord the first time i seen the cover of this game i knew that i was really going to like it and it's a really awesome fighting game weapon lord if you've not played that definitely give it a, a playthrough try it out weapon lord so for the genesis that was the ones that we actually played i think the most and really did like those games and then for the Super Nintendo, we'll just start with another fighting game, Killer Instinct. I really love this game. And I didn't know till last night, my brother was actually looking this game up. He said that they, you had two fatalities per person on this game. I did not know that. Plus stage fatalities, plus ultra combos. The ultra combos were awesome. You, you could just link it together and just destroy with somebody if you knew how to do it. Ultra, ultra combo. Awesome stuff, man. Killer Instinct. Can't stand up. Awesome music. Really visual, visually appealing. I didn't like the uh, the second one. It was just something wasn't right about it. They should have just made it just like the first one. Just made that look better. More characters. 
more stages and we would have been good to go. Killer Instinct would have been right back up there again. Really good game. And my guy on here was Chief Thunder or Saber Wolf. And my brother was Jago or Falgor. Now he'd tear you apart with him. With him. With him. Jago. But then we got Super Mario Kart. This will be on everybody's games they, they they remember from you know childhood or whatnot but super mario kart it was really awesome to pop this game in and play with your friends and stuff and race around the track really cool stuff and you had power-ups you could throw stuff like shells and stuff like that the banana peels and stuff it was just really good that's why super mario kart is still the big stuff and i did not have this one i think this is one we got from a friend or played a little friend bar a friend let us borrow, or we may have rented it at one time. But we did have this one, Skyblazer. Really awesome RPG, Skyblazer. The the thing I remember about this game the most is this, the you're climbing a, a tower that these little pegs are coming out, and it's a long ways to the top. And if you miss one of those pegs, you will fall all the way back down to your death, or sometimes you'll land on a peg and it saves your life. That's a really good game if you've never played that one. And, of course, Donkey Kong. This one here we actually had. This is my our, our copy, my brother and I's copy. Really cool. Donkey Kong's really awesome game for the Super Nintendo. And we did have a lot of fun with that game. And then, I'm just going to kind of stick with that, but my brother, him and another friend, would went over to another guy's house, and I had never even played a N64 and they went over and played 007, and I remember them talking about sitting over there for hours, destroying each other. Because you could have four-player split-screen on that thing, man. It was revolutionary. I think that's where, uh, like, the people from Microsoft, Bungie, and all that got the idea for Halo, as far as the multiplayer, which was really cool. But this game here started it all, as far as that goes, 007. And it don't really live up to graphics and stuff now, but it was the one that started it. And I just remember my brother coming home talking about how he just destroyed all these guys, man. <laughs> they couldn't do anything with him. Once he got acclimated to the situation he was in, you know, he was getting a little bit beat up, but then he destroyed him, which was amazing. So you guys, these are the games from my childhood that made uh, my list or whatnot or whatever. And I do really appreciate the tag from Chris Miller. That dude is a beast. I really do like his channel, by the way. And uh, thank you guys for watching. And there it is, guys. There's mine. So, Chris, there you go. So, from the Woodbury and Retro Game Hunter, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace, and as always, yeah. And Mortal Kombat Weapon Lords number one on Genesis, yeah. See you guys.